guys, it is FA today. I am on snack duty and we've got to be healthy because snacks, they have all the hidden things and I love to snack. So let's get some healthy snacks. I've got a whole bunch for you. Let's get into it. <laughs> guys snacks like I am bad I don't know what your snacking reputation is but I love to keep my hands busy and that always comes down to snacks so it's gotta stop or oh, I've got to get better I've got to get better that's what I've got to do let's get into it first I think we should do some berries start out sweets need your yogurt your blueberries and strawberries they're the berries that I chose a spoon and a bowl so make sure you wash your berries make sure they're really clean and drain them out and once they're dry you can put them into a bowl I put the blueberries all into a bowl with a couple of tablespoons of yogurt I use low-fat yogurt here but I'm definitely normally just a normal yogurt Greek yogurt girl Mix them on up and put them out. You need to put them out individually or they all get stuck together with the yogurt I found. And then I dipped my strawberries in the yogurt and put them so they kind of look cute. I saw in the recipe that I went off, I'll link all the recipes down below, that it had stevia in it. And I was like, well, I'm not really that sort of girl. I don't really like stevia. I'm probably not going to put a teaspoon of sugar in there. So let me just see what happens. I would definitely, if I was to do them again, I would definitely go with something in them. Sugar in them. The blueberries are tart as it is. Plus the tartness of the yogurt. It's very tart. For me, I'm just going to put them into smoothies. So I'm not really... Like, they're not wasted on me. Okay, next is a favorite of mine, chickpeas. I love chickpeas. I love beans. I love that sort of stuff. They're definitely a favorite of mine. So, in this recipe, you want to get drained chickpeas, wash them, and put them into a bowl. You want to put them in with a teaspoon of olive oil, a teaspoon of chili powder, paprika, and garlic powder. Mix them all up. Put them in your oven at 180 and lay them flat on the tray and bake them for 10 minutes. Come back, turn them and they will come out all lovely and golden. They're very spicy, but you can do any mixture that you want. You can put any herbs or spices on there and just bake them and they come out amazing. And you can store them for a while. I'm not sure how long you want to store them for. To me, they go too fast, so it doesn't really matter. But, yeah. Next, we're doing a simple favorite sort of one for me. Apple. Slice it. Peanut butter on it. It's a staple for me. I just love it. I love the combination. I think it's amazing. It's so yummy. It's so yummy. Apple's really good for you as well. I always have pink lady apples. I'm very picky with my apples. They're the crunchiest. They are the sweetest. And just give me pink lady apples or I'm not going to eat your apples. Okay. Lastly, this is a tzatziki recipe. So what you should... What, what you need to do... What you need to do with your cucumber is... Um, finely dice it before you do that peel it I forgot to peel it and I took the seeds out so it was really difficult but peel it de-seed it and cut it up into like really small chunks put it on some paper towel put some um, salt on it and let it drain for half an hour and then it'll help the um, the dip later because there's not that moisture in it so yeah so once you've left it for a half an hour put it in with dill pepper 
garlic and some chili. Put it in there with your cucumber again. Mine stuck to the paper. I'm not sure how to get around this, but I don't know. It's I, I really struggled. I'm going to say that much. In with your cucumber and other things, you put in your a tablespoon of olive oil, a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, and you put that all in. You put in a cup of the yogurt. I use the same yogurt as I did with the berries. So, um, always, I, I love Greek yogurt. I keep it with me all the time. I love it. Just mix that up then, and it doesn't take much. I love pepper, so the red from the um, powdered pepper doesn't affect me. If you don't like that, just use the fresh pepper. So I put it out on a bit of a veggie board. You have some celery, carrots, capsicum, um, and tomatoes, and it was really nice. I loved it. Was like It had that zestiness to it. It was really good. So also I put out, well I put in the oven some flatbreads, they were just multi-grain ones that I found at the store. I cut them into little things and put them in the oven for a while, they came out and that was so nice and I really enjoyed those as well. And I made another dip guys to go with the white nectarines and this was a third Nutella, two thirds yogurt, and it came out so nice. Like it had that chocolateness to it, but it had a moussey texture. It was a lot lighter than having Nutella, so I like just wanted to sit there with the whole bowl of this. Like it was so good, guys. I loved it, and I just cut up some banana for that last corner, and it was amazing. I loved everything on there. It was the bomb. dot com. So the last snack I was going to do, but I couldn't find what I needed, was baked grapefruit. Baked grapefruit is the most amazing. I love it so much. Cut a grapefruit in half, put it on a baking tray, drizzle some honey on it, just a little bit of honey, and then bake it for 10 minutes. And it just comes out so delicious. That's what you need to do when I find a grapefruit at a reasonable price. That's what I'm going to do. That was my first snack I thought of doing because I love it that much. So in the box below, comment, guys, what your favorite snack is. If these are any of your favorite snacks or what your favorite snack is. For my inspiration for this, I definitely went on Pinterest. Pinterest was like is a great source for things like that so you can go onto my pinterest i have we have for azaria it has a whole heap of different things a lot of our interests aaron also helps with it so there's like a whole heap of different things on there but i do have a board fa inspo that has a whole heap of different things for any of the ones that i really did um like that I got the recipes from, I'm going to link them below in the description box. But make sure you go and check it out because there are so many different ideas and I got so many ideas and was so inspired to take my snacking to a healthy place. Let me know if you try any of these. Tag me if you make any of these because I would love to. But I've got to go make myself some of that chocolate yogurt dip because I've been dreaming about it. And I will talk to you guys later. Make sure you go check out Donna's channel again. She is doing her favorite. Did I say that up front at the start? Yeah, she's doing her favorite. So I'm excited for that. And thank you guys for watching. Make sure you share, subscribe, like, enjoy. Make sure you go watch last week's video that I did. My big girl tag. I really enjoyed that. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.